Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, viewers from all over the world. This is the Tony Shira show and we just went to refill our glasses with a drink and we are back with Patrick Osoe. Yes sir. Karibu tena. Asante. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Just before we went on the break, we were talking about taxation. When you focus on the interest issue, the money automatically comes. What has been happening previously in our country and that's why people are so vocal about it is we you get taxed after getting taxed this money goes to the pockets of few people the biggest story going on right now is yes. about debt mm -hmm. and that that's why people have to be taxed heavily mm -hmm. so that we can service our debt mm -hmm. yet the debt that is being talked about mm -hmm. is not <laughs> is not being seen in the infrastructure where is the problem i want to say it doesn't matter where you come from it doesn't matter what family you come from it doesn't matter who you are. I'm yet to see a um, Pandora thing being addressed. Mm -hmm. Money being overseas, which belongs to the public. Mm -hmm. I'm yet to see the euro bond being addressed. You're caught corrupt. We don't want to keep you in jail and waste our money, steal our taxes, eating money there, eating our, uh, uh, like our resources there. Mm. All right. <laughs> How do you plan to improve uh, transparency and accountability in government? I would want policies, I would want channels whereby we have oversight authorities all over and these oversight authorities from the community mm -hmm. who are able to count. This is what we put you in place to do. It is not the MP, it is not the senator, it is not the president promising us. It is us telling him that we want to give you a job and this is what we want you to do. So the problem in Kenya, it is vice versa. Somebody comes with his own things and want to tell you what he's going to do for you. With whose money? How different will you be? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. Mm -hmm. I will accept that I've been given a job. And I will tell these people, please, I don't want to give you what I want to do for you. But I want you to give me the blueprint of what you want, you, you want me to be, to do. Because you have employed me. And that is the fact. Politicians are employed by the citizens. But citizens do not come up with ideologies mm -hmm. to, guide, to guide these members of parliament, senators, president. And that is why these, president, these leaders become irresponsible. Mm -hmm. Because they were never given. It is them that said. Mm -hmm. It is not you that told them. But, but the current president went all over the country and did uh, you know, uh, those economic forums and conversations with all the people. Um, and as I listen, as I hear him speak, he mm -hmm. says that he's doing what they agreed with the people when they went out and had conversations. So what would be different from you? What I want to say that 2027 will be the start, and I want to tell you, will be the start of a new revolution. Mm -hmm. Will be a start where young people have a say. Mm -hmm. Will be a revolution and change of how we see things. Mm -hmm. Will be will be where young people will not just, or people will not appoint you because you fished out money. Mm -hmm. Actually, we need to come up with policies as citizens, mm -hmm. which bars politicians from fishing out money. Mm -hmm. Where did you get this money from? Right. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Actually, you're caught fishing out money, you get disqualified from running for a specific seat. Okay. Let's yes. uh, go global. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest challenges we have is the climate change. Yes. What is your thoughts about that? Let me tell you. The reason as to why Africa has become a board of contention globally is because of natural resources. Mm -hmm. When we talk of global change, climate mm -hmm. change, mm -hmm. we are talking of natural resources. Right. And there are only three things in the climate change. We call them three R's. Mm -hmm. Reuse, reduce, and recycle. Cool. And con conservation of the natural resources. That's it. How do you use those then, the three R's, to create employment and improve the economies of? Look here. Somebody is waiting for you to finish up with your can of juice to have it for employment and go reuse it. Mm -hmm. 
So there is that rotation. Okay. So we are using the same thing, so we are rotating using the same thing. Mm -hmm. So we do not, let me say, uh, exploit the natural resources as much because we are reusing these things. And that, uh, that helps a lot. Right. Even conserving water. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of rains in Africa and most of the countries in Africa. Mm -hmm. So instead of us conserving the water, which is one of the things uh, among what we are supposed to do in climate change, mm -hmm. is conservation of water. Mm -hmm. We need to focus on conservation of water. Right. We need to focus on conservation of natural resources. Mm -hmm. And have re natural resources use mm -hmm. into our energies. Uh, let's talk about health and education. Yes. What ideas do you have for Kenya? Many government systems, not Kenyan are alone, all over the world, they create healthy system to actually get money from the citizens. I'm sorry to say this. There need to be a well-laid system for the health care for the citizens, whether you're working, not working. Mm -hmm. You should, at least as a Kenyan, you should have 100% assurance that if I go to an hospital, I'll be treated. Mm -hmm. And that can become a pride of being a Kenyan. Right. Let us not have the issues of, hey, you know what? You need to, to be admitted for the NHIF to pay for you. Right. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. I actually would want, go ahead to say that it should even cater for medication. Okay. So yeah. do you think that, uh, you know, reforming that particular fund uh, in the way that it has been uh, broken down helps people? Health, health as a problem does not choose. So why should we have to have, you know, you know having sections of, you know, and all that? Health is health. All right, yes. I will leave that to that. <laughs> what reforms do you suggest should go into the um, education sector? We broke our 844 system. Mm -hmm. You know, every change in government system is a way to get money. Mm -hmm. I want you to, to know that. Mm -hmm. Every change format of how a government office look like in Kenya mm -hmm. is a way of getting money. This system was created here. For example, I would say it's a U.S. system, for example. I'm sorry to say that. Mm -hmm. to, to keep touch with the kids because these people are busy 24-7. Mm -hmm. Isn't you, that a good thing? I would say to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to a country that the citizens have no time. No, probably. Because this, I'm, I'm, a, this forcing... I'm asking if that is not a good thing because, um, I mean, when you talk about... Internet, TikTok, mm -hmm. social media, spoiling society. Couldn't that be a product of this distance between parents and their, you know, kids? And therefore, this system brings them together, so there is less time that is spent on all that. It is a good thing to an extent. Mm -hmm. The problem is, we will not have equality. One, because they are, they are kids without kids. They are without parents, I mean. Mm -hmm. Again, we have parents that are not all the time available. So there is a touch where the kid will lose if he has to depend on the parent to work out their assignments. So uh, let's move on to um, relationships mm -hmm. between the regions. Yes. Now, you're vying for the presidency. Yes. What would you do to improve the relations between Kenya and our neighbors? Let me tell you. There's what Kenya has, Uganda does not have. There's what Kenya has, South Africa does not have. Cows cannot finish the feed or cannot finish the grass where they're grazing for, the others, that are for others that are there. Mm -hmm. Somebody else said, In other words, there's enough for everybody. Enough everybody. For everybody. Mm -hmm. And the other time, I had people trying to, politi to politicize the issue of President Ruto uh, trying to do away with the visas. And people saying, you know what, oh, you know, people will come here, flock here, foreigners. I'll tell you the fact. Mm -hmm. People will, never re will not relocate. Right. They will just do what they have to do and go back to their home. Right. 
and my government, if I be the president, let me tell you, I will have people, if you are an investor, if you are a business person, you win a tender all over the world, the government of Kenya will fund you to do that project to bring money home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. You just need to go. Ineto Kujituma. Mm. You just need to go to the marketplace. You right. get what you have to get. We are behind your back. We got your back. Mm -hmm. We support you. You finish the project. You bring money home. This is the Tony Shira <laughs> Show. Again, we're going to take a short break and we are here with Patrick Osoi. Coming straight to you from Washington State in Seattle. And uh, we'll be right back. Kenya is the leading regional financial hub. You should be honored yes. with a state commendation. How does that make you feel? Oh, yeah, well, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's about time. Aerobics in a reggae style. Welcome back to the Tony Shira Show. Guinea. Yes. Mali. Mm -hmm. Burkina Faso. <laughs> Niger, Don't say. Chad, yes. Gabon, whatever is happening in the West African countries, what's going on and what do you think should happen? Tony, I want to tell you that as a security expert, there are things that people will never understand. Unless, even if you tell people, I was the first person, I'll tell you, even before the handshake of... Uh, Raila Amolo Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta, I was the first person to tell Kenyans that, do you know what? Uhuru Kenyatta consumes the same intelligence as Raila Amolo Odinga, consumes the same intelligence as Gideon Moy. These people, after consuming the intelligence, they, they act differently to confuse the, the, the people. That is how I got out of ODM. I was a member of Baba, like I was that guy for Raila Amolo Odinga. But after understanding that kind of conspiracy, I love truth myself. I'm a man of truth. So going back to are West you Africa. Are the second truthful man? Let after, me tell you. After no. Rigiji? Uh, let me tell you. <laughs> Rigiji. <laughs> I bet Rigiji cannot even beat me. Okay. I'm a truthful man. Okay. I'll take it. West Africa countries. Africa as a whole was like an egg mm -hmm. that was hatching. So this egg was, when it was hatching, we rushed to get off the chick from the mm. egg. Mm. Do you know what happens if a baby or a chick is born before time? If it's a baby, it will be kept in an incubation mm -hmm. to be able to develop or to, to survive yeah. the time. Yeah. If you actually do that to a chick, the immediately you pull them out of the, of, out of the shell, the chick dies. Mm -hmm. So the African countries got out of the shell forcibly, thinking that they were mature enough to survive. Hmm. I want to tell you that at uh, this time, uh, now, that is when African countries are now supposed to be getting out of the shell. What are you, what are you yes. talking about? Let me tell you. These countries um, have now matured are now looking to the things in reality. They are no long, longer again in the incubation. Mm. They are into action. Mm. So this is the best time, and I'll tell you, it's, there's no going back. But I'm seeing, I'm foreseeing whereby West Africa, East Africa, South Africa countries may actually not form one Africa, may form three Africa uh, blocks. sections, blocks. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm foreseeing hmm. because of what is happening globally today. But I can tell you for a fact that this was you're seeing in the West Africa is going to be intense. Hmm. And it's going to affect not just Africa, but it will be a global crisis. This is a kid who got out of the incubation mm -hmm. who, is, who has now matured up mm -hmm. and wanting now to walk and go. So what I'm hearing you yes. saying is that uh, countries of Africa were born out of the shell. Mm -hmm. which, they force themselves. Which, which would be the colonialization. Mm -hmm. 
uh, they were pulled out of the egg before yes. they mature yes. and they've been incubating from that time and mm-hmm. now these that kids are able to now start working. Correct. Let me tell you and let me give you an example. There is a time African countries would have not said anything because when you dare say anything, you're dead mm-hmm. because you are still in an incubation. Somebody is, is controlling you, your life. Okay. Right now, nobody is controlling Africa. They are already gained the muscles to walk. So there is more walking and running that is coming than what people are seeing. Okay. So does that also <laughs> now inform... The... I mean, it's parable, but... Yeah, yes. I, I, I get you. Yes. But does that now inform the creation of what we are seeing now as the new economic blocks, you know, global, like, breaks? What, what, what's your thoughts on breaks? When a kid begins to crawl, when a kid begins to walk, is no longer again depending on the mom giving them the feed, the mi- b- breast milk. Mm-hmm. That kid will walk all over to get what they can get and put in their mouth. Okay. So this is a mature kid that has grown. Mm-hmm. And that is why I'm telling you there is more to come than just African, Africanism, than just having one currency. There is more to come. Right. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Uh, the current president of Kenya, yes. Dr. William Samoy Ruto, has been out there talking about, uh, you know, a change in the uh, funding systems, uh, you know, uh, for the global south, especially mm-hmm. from uh, the Bretton Woods institutions. And uh, to a large extent, most of Africa has been talking, hailing him as yes. the president of Africa. Uh, Mm -hmm. almost to the point of saying that he's continuing what Muammar Gaddafi was doing. Mm -hmm. Are we seeing a resurgence of the Pan-Africanism movement or, you know, what what, what are your thoughts about that? Let me tell you, when I heard my president, Dr. William Ruto, speak in uh, Paris, Mm -hmm. I just saw the baby walking now. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, the talk that was in Paris is not just a talk. Mm -hmm. They should thank God that somebody came to tell them on the face. Mm -hmm. Because more is to happen within Africa. Mm -hmm. I am on the forefront, I would say, supporting that as a person, Mm -hmm. what the President William Ruto said. I'm in support. Mm -hmm. Yes. We don't have to have IMF that... That is, you know, we, we have these people from this, from this, paying more interest. And all. It's either way, you revise the policies that suit everybody, mm-hmm. or guess what? We go back where I told you my interest will be as a country, Kenya, bringing people together. After bringing them, you become economically powerful. After that, you cannot just be waived by politics, whether globally or as a country. Viewers... We will stop right there, <laughs> and I want to grant Patrick Osoy an opportunity. Just look into that camera yes. and speak to Kenyans. Njambo, Njambo Kenya, my fellow Kenyans, that a time to stand firm, to understand our interest as a nation has come, and to understand that we are the people who employs the politicians, so that we are able to keep them accountable. Thank you very much for watching. And I want to say that uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, Tony, you're going far with this. This is in a foreign country. You're doing a great job here. Thank you. And man, when I saw you interview a certain uh, women rep who came here, and I was like, uh, man, this thing is going beyond the limits. Thank you So very keep much. it up. And I want to say that the Kenyan government, if a young man has come to this foreign country and doing such a great job, it should be the obligation of the government to support you so that you do a great job. Thank you. Yes. Appreciate that. That is why we have ambassador in this country. Well, I, yeah. And yes. I, I must tell you that uh, we're getting a fairly good support already. The Council General in LA uh, has wow. been um, helping us uh, get together. Uh, maybe I should disclose it here that uh, we have Pacific Northwest Kenyan Media Consortium and uh, yours truly is the president of that organization. So wow. we already have something that is going on. Wow. And uh, we'll be, wow. you'll be seeing more of us coming out to you and telling you what's going on with our Kenyan society and community out here in the diaspora. From all over, wherever you are, uh, subscribe the Tony Shira Show.
And uh, if you're in the diaspora, we've got a channel that is called TCTV1 USA. That is the one that is all matters diaspora. So subscribe and uh, see you on the next one. Thank you for welcoming me. Thank you for making me to have this uh, time with you. And I want to appreciate so, so much. And I want to say that God bless you and God bless Kenya. All right. Yes. We will leave it at that. Thank you. Asante sana. Karibu sana. Cheer up. Before I, I move, I have, um, I'm a friend to SPM. So guys from SPM who are my friends and that which I've also been uh, uh, in support to SPM Kenya. I want to say that um, please, you guys, you have a potential media back here that where by we can look forward to see that we support such people. So I greet you all as well. And may you, the subscribers, subscribe and support this gentleman.